Distemper is one of the most serious diseases your dog can get. Canine distemper is a virus that affects the skin, brain, eyes, respiratory, and intestinal organs of dogs. It is also one of the most preventable. In this video, we've shared the facts, symptoms, treatment options, and prevention methods that every dog owner needs to know about distemper. Signs and Symptoms of Distemper in Dogs Canine distemper causes symptoms in multiple body systems, including the gastrointestinal tract, respiratory tract, brain, and spinal cord. The appearance of symptoms and the course of distemper can be variable, ranging from very mild illness to fatal disease. Any of the following may be present. Fever Discharge from the eyes and nose Loss of appetite Lethargy Vomiting and diarrhea Coughing Labored breathing Hardening of foot pads and nose Inflammation of various parts of the eye Secondary bacterial infections Muscle twitching Weakness or paralysis Uncoordinated movements Increased sensitivity to touch or pain How to recognize acute symptoms of your dog Number 1 Look for respiratory tract signs The first symptoms usually affect the respiratory tract. Your dog may sneeze, cough, or have thick mucus in his nose. Your dog may have labored breathing if the infection is in his chest. Oftentimes, the dog will develop inflamed and infected nasal passages, which causes snotty nasal discharge. Dogs with poor immune systems may develop pneumonia soon after becoming infected. Number 2 Inspect the dog's eyes. When a dog has distemper, her eyes usually have a thick mucus around them. This could look like a gummy, sticky discharge. Eyes with mucus and a snotty nose in a dog not vaccinated more than likely points to distemper. Number 3 Check for a fever. Distemper can be accompanied by a fever. The fever is usually extremely high, over 103.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 39.7 degrees Celsius. The fever tends to make most dogs lethargic, listless, and lacking in energy, so the dog may be reluctant to go for walks or prefer to sleep and rest. Number 4 Look for a lack of appetite. Dogs with distemper may stop eating. This may be caused by fever or because they feel unwell. They also may stop drinking, which can cause dehydration. Dogs may suddenly start vomiting or have diarrhea shortly after becoming infected. This can also lead to dehydration. Number 5 Check the dog's pads. Distemper can cause abnormalities to the pads of the dog's feet, like enlargement or thickening. This may cause him to walk strangely or avoid walking, running, or standing. This is a late-stage development so be alert for other signs first. Be careful when you examine it. The pads may be tender and he may snap at you because of the discomfort. You may notice pad abnormalities weeks or even months after becoming infected. Number 6 Look at your puppy's teeth. For puppies who have not received their adult teeth, distemper can affect their permanent teeth. The adult teeth can be weak or misshapen because the enamel doesn't form. This can also cause discolored teeth. This is also a symptom that may arise in the later stages of distemper. Number 7 Be mindful of more severe symptoms. In more severe cases, or in later stages of the disease, the virus can attack the dog's bodily systems, especially the nervous system. This can lead to seizures, fits, hysteria, and paralysis. How to prevent canine distemper? Number 1 Vaccinate your dog One of the most common ways a dog gets distemper is through exposure to the virus without having immunity to it. This means that both unvaccinated puppies and unvaccinated older dogs are at risk for the disease. Some dogs have a natural immunity to the disease, but you should not rely on that. Vaccinating helps keep your dog from getting distemper. If the dog contracts the disease, she could die or have lasting neurological or retinal damage. Number 2 Keep your dog away from infected fluids. Distemper can be spread through contact with contaminated fluids, like urine, blood, mucus, or saliva. 
This can happen through physical exposure or contaminated food and water bowls. The disease can also be spread through sneezing or coughing. Try to separate your dog from infected animals. In very young dogs, keep them away from any areas likely to exposure, like kennels. Number 3 Clean the dog's living area. Keeping your dog's kennel or home area disinfected can help get rid of the virus. This is especially important if your dog interacts with other dogs at public places, like pet stores, parks, or kennels. By following these steps, you can keep your dog safe from distemper. If you have more questions about distemper in dogs, talk to your veterinarian, and call your vet immediately if you suspect your dog might be showing symptoms of distemper.